All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this Madden 23 franchise. Frank Wright is still the coach of the Colts of Madden. Good job, Madden. You're, you're doing great here. Going up against the Indianapolis Colts and Matt Ryan in Lucas Oil Stadium. We are currently 8-6. We hold the seventh seed in the NFL playoffs at the moment. And we're looking to get a big win to keep that position. Possibly move up in the standings. So let's see if we can get a big win here against, in this safe file, the Red Hot Colts, who are 6-7-1. And, and we are starting off with the ball in this game, this Monday night football game, the day after Christmas, December 26th. And Austin Eckler is going to get a solid gain of four, and they already got, uh, I forgot how to say the name, Ngakwe, I think is how you say it. He's already down with an injury on the first play of the game. Now, um, I'm... Gonna, ooh, I'm going to assume those linebackers are going to back up. They do not, but it doesn't matter. Horvath gets a nice block. We get a gain of four. Third and two. I'm going to stick to the ground game for a little bit here. And see if we can get the first down. And we do with Austin Eckler breaking a tackle. On who was that? Was that uh, Forrest, Forrest, Forrest Buckner? That's his name. Forrest Buckner breaking the tackle. And we are going to go to the passing game. Real quick, let's see if Herbert can get his game started as Keenan Allen breaks a tackle and he's going to get a gain of six. Oh my god, oh my god, this dude just fumbled! Eckler! What? Oh my, yep, awesome. Yep, that's how we start off the game. It was an awesome Eckler fumble. Awesome. Awful way to start off the game and that just lost my confidence. And Austin Eckler running the ball, so we're gonna we're gonna go heavy on the pass. Yep, heavy on the pass. All right, back to back plays where they score a touchdown off a turnover. Wow, have we put ourselves in a hole? Fourteen nothing, back to back turnovers. Going great so far. Can we? Thank you, Palmer, with the reception. Can we get that momentum down? Oh my God, second pass of the day. And it's an interception. Austin Eckler fumbles the ball somehow. I don't know how, but he fumbles it. Just awful. Awful, awful, awful. Keep your feet in, Eckler. There you go. Second and six. I'm looking for the end zone in this play. Josh Palmer, possibly. But I doubt it. If Oh, Josh Palmer! He's in the end zone! And we get our first score of the game. Josh Palmer going over the top. On Stefan Gilmore just got a pick six. Gilmore didn't even react. Beautiful throw, beautiful catch. Now down by a score. And now our defense can finally get a chance to get onto the field and see what they can do. As Khalil Mack is immediately going to break free. In a, J D Taylor, I think. J no, that's JT Woods. Jazir Taylor, I think his name is, with an interception on their first pass play. And we get the ball right back. Oh my god, the turnovers. Immediate turnover from the Indianapolis Colts with an unbelievable interception. I don't know how the hell Taylor picked that one off. I'm going to protect the ball with Eckler. I'm not even going to bash A. Just I'm holding R1, protecting the ball. And we're going to get down to the 25, second and five. Unbelievable interception to give us the ball right back. And we got a third and two. I'm not going to give it to Eckler over here. I'm actually going to go with the uh, double slant and hope Palmer can get open or Everett. And Everett is open. Gerald Everett ties it up with the touchdown. And just like that, the momentum is back in the Chargers' favor. What an unpredictable first half this has been so far in this Monday night football game. All tied up. As I blitzed with the middle linebacker, that leaves, uh, who is that, Pierce? Leaves him wide open over the middle. And that is a first down as they get their first completion. It looks like they're going to run this play before the second quarter starts. And they do. Austin Johnson breaks free. And Taylor was so close to another pick, but that's a first down for Michael Pittman. Third and four in the red zone, and they're going all out. No run, only pass. Can our defense get in motion? They do not. And they are going to get another first down. First and goal for the Colts. 
It's looking like a run play. It is not. And he gets the touchdown. Bryce Callahan, what are you doing? And the Colts take the lead right back. There's the... He fumbled again. Yeah, I got to turn down the fumble. Um, sliders, or I just shouldn't hit X, apparently, on that stupid little mini game thing. What is happening? Why is it... Why is there the fumble so high now? It went from interceptions being such a high frequency in this game to them fixing it. Now you fumble every time. Madden, why can't you just make a decent product? Why does it always have to be something wrong? And Colts are already all the way down to the 8 because our defense is just in shambles, man. The injuries are killing us. And our pass rush is non-existent. Bryce Callahan, you're about to get benched, dude. You're actually about to get benched. You are playing so bad right now. You cannot guard Pierce. I don't even know who this dude is and you can't guard him. Great stop, Drew Tranquil. Third and goal. Can we get a stop? I'm going to use Derwin James. All right. They are not. What What was that? Bryce Callahan, bro. You're getting benched, dude. The, what are you doing? You're guarding Pierce. This dude has already two touchdowns. The Colts get the ball at halftime, too. So we got 43 seconds to get down the field and score a touchdown without someone turning the ball over. My, may I add? As Herbert. How is that? How, Madden, how is that inaccurate? No pressure. I'm in the back of the pocket. What makes that inaccurate? I was stopped. Boy, this game never ceases to amaze. Josh Palmer also never ceases to amaze. Great catch. We're now all the way down to the 28. Let's see. I forgot Mike Williams. He's not playing. Let's see if we can get something going. Austin Eckler. Great little route for him. Run out of bounds. I know we still got two timeouts. Line as well. Stop that clock as much as humanly possible. I'm going to run this slant play here. Do not show me Bryce Callahan's face. This dude is getting completely cooked right now. We're trying. We're playing from behind all game long. And I don't see anyone. I'm running with Herbert. I'm running with Herbert. Run out of bounds. Wasted a lot of time there. There was no one I really saw because I'm scared of throwing a pick. I see Gerald Everett maybe. Austin Eckler if he can get some space. Or Josh Palmer. Right now is the MVP for us as he cuts it to a one-score game right before halftime. Bro, the Colts are just completely killing us down the field. Wait, we cannot stop anything. Anything. No matter who it is. Jonathan Taylor is hurt. He's not even playing. He's barely played, and we still can't stop them at all. The run game, the pass game, nothing has been able to to come through for this defense we can't get pressure as Bryce Callahan redeems himself and proves me wrong thank you because oh my god we've been getting dotted up well second and 20 now after a holding call for guy I just signed uh Eckler you've been basically my number one target all game I just wish you had a little bit more speed because now we got a third and 14 bro we were literally at the five until he got that holding call. You gotta be kidding me. Like, seriously? We just get, keep, keep getting held back. Josh Palmer. Nope, I'm getting sacked. And we're gonna have to settle for a field goal here. Bro, that, that drive was going so well. Until this dumbass was holding. There's always something. Always something that's gotta go wrong. Watch me miss this too. I'm not gonna. Always something. And now we're still down by four. Knowing our defense can't get a stop. This is a huge defensive drive because if, if they get a first down, it might be GG's. Speaking of first downs, Michael Pittman. First down. Great. Awesome. This is fantastic, dude. This is going so well. This is going so well. What is happening? What? What? Why would that pop up? And yep, the, now they're just going to go into two clock and... We can't get a stop, man. All we, that's all we need is a stop, and we can't get it. You're, you're kidding me. You are not blitzing. Every play we're blitzing. Every play. I don't hurry up. Every play, they're gonna run it to the two-minute warning. Every single play on blitzing. That we should not be losing to a Jonathan Taylorless Indianapolis Colts team. The one time I blitz. 
The one time I blitz, they pass the goddamn ball. The one time I blitz, they pass the ball. This is so stupid. Now, now they're gonna run every play because time is on their side. Time is on their side. There is no goddamn way. There is. That's it. That's game over right there. That's game over. Another first down. This dude, I don't even know who it is. This is the last game I play defense. I'm not playing defense no more. Because this is just atrocious. This is just a uh, pure headache, man. Unbelievable. Like, Madden, what are we doing? Why are we making every running back unstoppable? That's just not how this works. And f touchdown. We're going to lose to the 6 7 and 1 Colts. You. Yeah. Because of a stupid fumble that shouldn't have happened. Another fumble that shouldn't have happened. And defense not being able to do anything. And a holding call that cost us a possible touchdown. Awesome. Why well, I, I don't... Now I'm screwed. I wanted to do an onside kick and it's not going to let me because I don't have a timeout. I can't run out the clock. You gotta be kidding me. That just shows that the game's over. There's a minute left. Why would it not default to an onside kick? Knowing we're down by three, Madden. Why would you not default to that? You're going to default to a normal kick? Really? Then we're going to lose another game by one score. Due to stupid turnovers. Great. Yep, and that's game. We just lost to the Indianapolis Colts. Yep. I'm not playing defense no more. Final stats, Herbert. Phenomenal game. Unbelievable game. Eckler, that fumble cost us. He was, one of our, he was our third best receiver. We could not guard anyone palmer and allen balled out but there was no defense so zero literally zero defense was played they just threw the ball all over the field whoever they wanted to whenever it didn't matter and they literally didn't even have jonathan taylor i don't even think he was hurt he just didn't play and they had this dude Dion jackson just running all over us don't know who the hell it is whatever that's it i'm done